skeleton key here and I'm just have a really quick update on how the summer book hibernation readathon is going for me. Uh, last night I did finish Beast of Bezik and I listened to it on audiobook from the library and uh, I learned that I've been mispronouncing Bezik. It's Bezik because England. Yeah. I'm also doing the newts um, for, well, it was. It's sort of an unofficial part of the magical readathon that G does on Book Roast. She's kind of backing away from the Harry Potter influences, but we're still doing the newts this year because we did the owls in the spring. So I, after I finished that for my uh, my A in divination, now for my E in divination, then I had to go with the first book that I saw, and that just so happened to be Carcassonne. Uh, a guidebook to Carcassonne. I've never been to Carcassonne, but it just so happens to be a place that I've, I don't know about always, but ever since college, uh, I learned about of its existence when I was a freshman at, at Drury. I've wanted to go there. And so it works for my holiday uh, prompt for Book Hibernation. So I'm going to be reading that. And it's, it's nice and thin. It's got cool map on the back yay and then also i found a cold book cold weather book uh a night to remember uh which is about the sinking of the titanic that is available as an audiobook from the library as well so i will be reading that for my cold book i don't have to well i will still read the desert hedge murders um but I don't need to read that until later in the month, so so I can put that off for a little bit to, to read about the sinking of the Titanic. Oh, this morning I did start on Summer of 42, and mm, the writing itself is actually pretty decent. Uh, the characters, though, Hermie and his friend Oski... Um, I guess that's how it's pronounced. Uh, I think it's short for Oscar. So yeah, Oski. They're little assholes. And I just, yeah, I just want to smack them. And I really don't like them or care about them. And yeah, so not really enjoying it, but. Hi, Skeleton Key here. And I, um. I stopped at the library on my way to physical therapy today, and I picked up these two books. So we've got A Raisin in the Sun by Lorraine Hansberry, and Roomies by Sarah Zar and Tara Altabrando. Sorry about the glare. Yeah, there. And I, I got them for another challenge, but the A Raisin in the Sun will work for my summer challenge on this one. And just in case I can work it into the newts, I am starting with loose leaf tea, um, at least one of them, probably a raisin in the sun, uh, or maybe both. Starting with some loose leaf tea. Today we are drinking the oncoming storm, another dryad tea selection. That sounds yummy. Well, it is the last day of the summer hibernation readathon. My husband has has made off with my Carcassonne book. Uh, something about a Dungeons and Dragons scenario. I don't know. Maybe I'll be playing Dungeons and Dragons tomorrow. But in the meantime, I'm going to see if I can finish up A Raisin in the Sun by Lorraine Hansberry. Uh, I did finish uh, my first two books, so three of the the basic prompts, uh, and I think that's probably all I'm going to get done this time, but it's been fun. It's been a good week, uh, and I've gotten some good reading in. I'm back with my summer book hibernation wrap-up. 
Uh, I'm not filming in the lair today. They're replacing the furnace and the AC and making all sorts of noise down there. And you might even be able to hear some of it. I know you can probably hear the, um, the lawn people outside. I'm up on the top floor, but uh, it's kind of noisy. So <laughs> I'll just, we'll see how this goes. Um, but I, I did complete some of the prompts. Uh, so the first book was The Beast of Bezik. And um, I, I really enjoyed that one. It was a lot of fun. Um, I love the banter between the two characters. It's steamier than I like. I'm, I'm not real big on the, you know, the, the explicit sex scenes. And I don't know, some of it I felt got a little repetitive. And so I wasn't really into that. But uh, I try not to take off on ratings at least not much, uh, for that, because it's like, hello, it's, you know, it's a historical romance, it's gonna have a lot of that stuff that I'm just not there for, but, um, it, it was a lot of fun, and a lot of, you know, feminist themes, and, um, and, you know, as far as being a retelling of Beauty and the Beast, um, like I said, I still haven't read La Belle et La Bette, so, but my guess is that, um, is that this author, uh, who's the author? Amelie Howard. Uh, my, my guess is that Howard, um, subverted some of those, the, the main tropes of, because my understanding is it is La Belle et La Bette, um, the original story. It's, it's sort of a Stockholm syndrome kind of thing. Uh, and I'm not there for that. And, uh, I've read a lot of things, well, like in Uprooted and also, you know, Howl's Moving Castle wasn't a La Belle et La Bette retelling, but it, that that trope of oh I'm gonna go clean this guy's castle and and maybe he'll fall in love with me it, it, yeah I'm just I'm that trope can die in a fire I'm done with that trope and I think in you know maybe I'll find out differently when I read La Belle et La Bette but um that's part of why I've never <laughs> felt compelled to watch the Disney movies or anything. Uh, cause it, to me, it just sends the wrong message and Howard really, um, if that is the message, she subverted that, um, by, uh, I really liked these characters. They were, they were a lot of fun and, and, uh, yeah, she was taking no nonsense. So, that was awesome. Uh, and that one would also, I mean, technically it would count for the holidays, uh, prompt, um, because, you know, it's set partially in London during the season and partially in, um, uh, in the, at their country estate. Uh, so the English countryside, which, I, I I did a London semester, so I've been to London and I've I've been back to visit and um I'm I, I like visiting London. I, I don't think I'd ever want to live in London again, but I I enjoy London as a place to be for a while, uh, and have fun exploring. And the English countryside we did a couple excursions. Um, so I, I really like the English countryside and yeah, I'd like to go back on holiday. Uh, cause one thing about, I, I learned, I did a London semester and I did a semester in France and I really don't like having academic pressures while I'm trying to explore and get to know a new place. I like traveling just to travel and learn on my own. And I think it would also count for Shoulda, Woulda, Coulda. Uh, I bought the book in January of this year. And 
the idea was that I was going to read La Belle La Bette and then I was going to read that and and it just it didn't happen until until now and of course I still haven't read La Belle La Bette which yeah I need to do and then I did finish the hot or cold prompt I did end up switching to a cold book um, I found via Hoopla uh, the libraries um, they do ebooks and audiobooks and also music it's a it's a nice app um but through that library app i got a night to remember by walter lord and that was that was really uh it was a very straightforward chronological narrative style but it was riveting. It was just absolutely gripping. And I don't know, because I, I did see the movie Titanic uh, when it came out. And of course, part of me is like, why did you, f why did Hollywood feel like they needed to create this fictional story when the real story, uh, I mean, there were so many, so many interesting stories there already why did they feel they had to make up this story so that that kind of bothered me but I think it it added something to this my reading of this uh because the, I have I'm a very visual person and having all those visuals of this magnificent ship and um and just the uh, how elaborate everything was I, I think it really added something to my experience listening to this book so I did not succeed at the summer sun challenge I I haven't given up on summer of 42 exactly but I'm in no hurry to get back to that one uh, I may because I do have another challenge that specifically requires the word summer in the title. Maybe I'll do that this month. I don't know. Um, I wasn't really getting much out of it, but it, it should be quick. Maybe I'll go back to it. But I did switch to a raisin in the sun for this challenge, and uh, I was making pretty good progress, but that the last couple of days, I was just so exhausted from various things, so so I ended up not finishing that. I do intend to finish that one, and it's a library book, so it'll have to go back to the library before very long. And so I will finish that one. Um, it's so far, it's it's excellent. That takes us to the extra berry prompts. So shoulda, woulda, coulda, kinda, sorta. I did. <laughs> Uh, Wildlife, a book with an animal on the cover that makes you think of summer, and I had intended to get started on Where the Crawdads Sing, and I didn't. I still intend to read that one. I just didn't get to it this last week. Uh, read, read, read. Read for 24 or 48 hours in the week. I probably did. I don't know. I just, I don't track hours. My local library has a summer reading program, and it's hour-based, and so I'm just like... I'm sure I read 100 hours this summer, sure. And so I just, you know, how how would I not read 100 hours in a summer? So I don't feel like I'm cheating, I, but I just, I don't track my reading by hours. I just don't. Um, summer social, share a picture on social media of your favorite summer reading spot using the hashtag book hibernation, which I did do. I... Um, took a picture and I shared it on Twitter. Yes, posted it on Twitter. So it's there if you want to see it. I feel like I was moderately successful at this. So, but thank you, Simon, for, for putting this together. I had fun. And I'm curious to know how everybody else's challenge went. Uh, so yeah, uh, comment below. And also, even if you didn't do the challenge, let me, let me know your thoughts on the these books or um other books that you think maybe would fit these prompts because i will roll some of these prompts over um 
to the ones that I didn't finish, I will roll them over into my challenge, my personal challenge for next year. So let me know if you've got ideas for those. Um, because like the summer animal one, um, since I'm going to be reading, uh, where the crowd had sing this year. So when I roll it over on my challenge for next year, I won't have that one. So I'll need a different book. So let me know your ideas for that. Like, subscribe, see you around.